So thank you, uh, Professor uh, Von Braun. And uh, <laughs> so they're making you a musician this morning to help do some music. And all of you, dear distinguished uh, members of the Academy, members of this uh, panel today, we welcome all of you very heartily to the Chamber of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences. Uh, and of course, I recognize uh, the guardian angel behind me uh, who, who is protecting me because he's been mentoring me, introducing me to this task. Uh, now before, before coming in here, I used, to, I used to work in one other dicastery of the Vatican for promoting integral human development. It used to be the name of the Commission for Justice and Peace and then became uh, the dicastery for promoting integral human development. So a lot of the issues that the academy handles we used to handle, just that you do it on a more elevated academic level. But we're so very glad to uh, welcome all of you, especially to the treatment of this topic, which we've been following with some interest, because uh, since 2017, <clears throat> it became a big concern uh, to look at or to listen to the cry of the islands who are located within the oceans and the experience experience of, uh, of, uh, of the threat to the oceans and everything that was happening to them. So, for example, Indonesia, even the Netherlands, Chile, United States, Miami area, all have held international conferences on the ocean. And uh, in June 2017, for example, the United Nations held a very high conference on the ocean, following up on which, uh, as Professor Van Brown has just said, they are preparing for this other big summit that, 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 that is coming up. Uh, this. For, for us, it's a, a way of also helping to respond to SDG 14, which calls for you know, uh, concern and care for the, for, for, for the ocean and to, to look at the resources and all. The, the, trust, the trust of the conference is to actually to conserve and sustainably use the oceans and the marine resources uh, for sustainable development. And it had several related events connected with it, part of which has been mentioned by Professor Van Brown. The ocean absorbs a lot of carbon dioxide, and so the possibility of its acidification becomes a very big issue. And with acidification, we're looking at the coral world and everything that happens to what Pope Francis refers to as the underwater wonderland. All of that will be threat, uh, threatened by uh, you know, the character of the ocean and all. But this morning, and briefly uh, to introduce our conversation, we just want to refer to one thought which can probably accompany our, you know, uh, our conversation. When the United Na UNESCO, United Nations you know, Office for uh, you know, Education, Science, and all, looked at the ocean, it, it referred to the ocean as a common heritage of humanity. Now, the common heritage of humanity was an expression which was used about, about, about talk about the oceans, even, even in the time of the Cold War. Regrettably, recent documents from the United Nations make very little reference to that language of, of, of this heritage. Because when something is a heritage, then we recognize that it's a gift that we have received something that was passed on to us and something which we must pass on to those coming after us. So it involves us in a sense of solidarity and also responsibility. And this uh, is, a, is, a, is, an is a very important perspective in which to carry out this conversation because uh, in 2013, uh, I was invited to participate in something similar in, in Reykjavik, Iceland. And this was about the Arctic Circle. And the concern was again about the ocean and what we do to it. So you probably have heard about flammable ice. Flammable ice is when people begin to explore oil in the ice cap area. So that having oil and ice, you can talk about flammable ice. So the exploitation of deep sea ocean resources become a big threat. 
But as we carry out this conversation, I think the thought that can stay with us is the fact that this is a universal heritage, heritage that came to us and which we need to conserve and preserve for those who will come after us. And that probably can underline and invite us to a sense of solidarity, a sense of responsibility, as we consider the ocean, its resources, and all that it has to offer to us. So on this, on this brief note, uh, the possibility of Robbie share some more thoughts later, I want to welcome all of you to this conference and this conversation about the ocean, its resources, and its value for humanity. So thank you again for coming and for everything that you'd want to share with us. Thank you.